So three three-minute rounds of World Championship Boxing to finish us off here in this afternoon session. It is uh, the heavyweights, the 91 kilos, Evgeny Tyshchenko in red for Russia, and Yamil Peralta in blue for Argentina. Tyshchenko, southpaw, tall, rangy, very fast. Peralta of Argentina, seeded at two in the AIBA world rankings. Well, a very, very class act indeed. Very creative, very fluid. This is a good matchup at this weight. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how uh, the big Russian, when he starts to uh, use that long jab of his, right now he's just covering up, allowing the Argentinian to do a bit of work. Argentinian turns his man nicely there. You can see already that um, the Russian trying to drive in a linear motion all the way to try and get to the Argentinian. The Argentinian just eluding him. And it's that turn to the left and the left hook that's going to be decisive here. The Argentinian slipping beautifully. Russian paying a lot of respect here. Yeah, almost too much respect at the moment. You're not going to score unless he throws some punches. Peralta, a dangerous fighter. Just look at him twist and turn out. It's a good stiff right jab from the Russian, but he needs more. Beautifully turned the Argentinian. And we see a lot of creativity from the South American fighters and indeed the Kazakh fighters. Very relaxed, very fluid, and it allows them to get their shots off. We see uppercuts, we see left hooks, as well as good left-right combinations. Argentinian closes the distance as soon as he gets into trouble, tries to shut down the Russian. Surprisingly, the Russian, but despite that long reach, he's trying to get inside and fight. It's probably the wrong tactics right now against the Argentinian. Manages to turn his man there, the Russian, but it's the first glimmer we've seen of creative technical ability. Great left-right combination. Well, the Russian could be in trouble. Big right hand goes over the top of the Argentinian. He's just not making head road. Well, that's it. End of round one. Two more rounds in this uh, heavyweight contest. And the Russian sits down, looking uh, somewhat pensive about his performance there. He certainly soaked up a lot of punches, perhaps wasn't as busy as the Argentinian. Argentinian got a lot of confidence going throughout that round. Peralta realized it was going to take a lot of gearing up for the Russian to land. He saw the punches coming, he slipped them, he ducked them, went round his man, punished him on the way out. So this is how the judges saw it. Uh, two in favor of Tyshenko and one in favor of Peralta. So uh, they're seeing it a, a bit of a mixed bag at the moment. And uh, it's Tyshenko, the Russian, that is being favored. So we'll come out for round two, and, well, Peralta, he may well be a little bit disappointed when he sees that uh, scoring. He's going to have to turn it on a bit more then, try and get through. To be fair, the Russians soaked up most of his punches, uh, though Peralta threw a fair few more. So we're underway in round two, Peralta of Argentina in blue, Tyshchenko of Russia in red. Well, the work from the Argentinian Peralta is first rate. Are these clean blows, though? That's the question. He's chucking a lot. But uh, if shots on goal don't count, it's all about the goals. No, Tyshenko's covered up very, very well. But what it's done in turn for Tyshenko, in order to cover up and keep that guard there, he's not thrown his own punches as fluidly. And he's getting caught there by Peralta. Uh, for me, Peralta's doing the better work out of the two of them. Yeah, he's certainly doing a lot more of it. 
I think there's a bit of a power difference there. Tushenko shoving him back into the corner. Well, Tushenko physically trying to impose himself. But uh, Peralta slipping, turning, getting out of the way. And just look at that. In the break, great body shots there. And Peralta advantaging himself at any and every opportunity. But you're right, it's a lot of work from Peralta, but the Russians covered up. I mean, that guard as tight as two coats of paint. But Peralta's still trying to work his way in. And that's a huge range and height advantage that's really going to waste from Tyshenko. Uh, punching to the back of the head there, he's got to be careful of doing that in the clinch. The referee hasn't warned him yet. Well, again, <laughs> solid punch to the back of the head. Unperturbed, Peralta marches on. Well, it's uh, Peralta who's being warned about dipping his head coming in. But, uh, the Russians got away with a, a few blows to the back of the head. And again, he just soaks up the punishment from the Argentinian. Beautiful work from the Argentinian, turns his man on a sixpence. And uh, by the time Yevgeny Tyshenko looks out from behind that guard, well, Peralta has gone. Well, just over 20 seconds to go here. And it's still Peralta who's got the greater work rate. And uh, again, Tyshenko punching to the back of the head. Yeah, Peralta's coming in so low, it's almost uh, difficult for him not to. That's it, end of round two, back to their corners. And uh, again, Peralta, work rate, you'd have to give it to him, but uh, Tushchenko may be getting through with a few more telling punches. Well, Peralta absolutely fired out at the beginning of this round and threw so many shots, great combinations, went all over the target area. But um, again, the Russian from behind that guard soaks up the punches and is able to get just better targeted shots off. Bit difficult for the Russian, he's got that height advantage and it seems as if he's hitting the back of the head of Peralta, but he has to go in so low. But, I mean, interesting that two judges are seeing it in favor of the Russian, one judge entirely in favor of the Argentinian for work rate. And, well, that's why you need three judges, isn't it? It's just to get an even blend of how people score it. The aggression of Peralta, the work rate is higher, but Tyshenko, the Russian in red, has definitely had the cleaner blows. We're into the final round, three minutes more of this afternoon session of the semi-finals. Who will get through to the final of this heavyweight contest? Well, Toshenko now starting to land cleaner shots. Peralta, nothing to lose in this round, everything to gain. Has to come at this from a very, very aggressive perspective. And he's ranked up the intensity, but the shots are not landing. They're hitting the arms of Tyshenko. They're hitting the gloves. Well, Tyshenko's loosened up and opened up that guard, which has allowed Peralta to come through. He's got to be uh, careful there, use of the elbow of the Russian, but uh, it's Peralta who's worn for uh, dipping his head. Yeah, it's a difficult proposition for Peralta. The height, the reach of Toshenko means that to get inside, he's got to come under the guard. And of course, Toshenko will assist him on the way down by leaning on him. So he keeps getting warned for dropping the head but um, uh, it's a difficult proposition he's trying to go for the body there trying to lower that guard open something up so he can try and get him in the head Peralta but oof, a big left hand to the Argentinians face that and that's just the difference Chichenko is getting clean shots in
big south Portashenko fires out that right hand and from a scoring perspective Toshenko is hitting contact area Now just over 40 seconds to go in this final round. The Russian leaning on top of him there, using that big height advantage to tire out the Argentinian in the clinch. I think the Russian Toshenko is still happy to work onto the wire. Still probably psychologically doesn't think he's done enough. There's a little clash of heads there. Luckily, no one hurt. Toshenko now coming in. I, I think Toshenko feels he's on top here. He's starting to enjoy this. Oh, and a cracking right hand from the Russian. That's it. That's the last bout of this afternoon session of the semi finals. We'll have to wait for the scores. One judge uh, has favored the style of the Argentinian, two have gone for the big Russian. Let's have a little look back here at the action from the third round. Well, he started to open up Toshenko in this third round. Drops the guard, starts to throw the punches out. But what a great, great defensive strategy to come out with that high guard and not allow Peralta to use that creativity, that looseness of style to throw those punches. So, joining uh, Clemente Russo in the final of the men's heavyweight minus 91 kilo class is... There we go. It's the big Russian, Evgeny Tyshchenko, who joins him. 29-28, 30-27, 28-29. It's a split decision. It was indeed a very tight bout of two differing styles, and the judges saw it differently.